was I the only one shocked at how fucking awesome this episode of One Piece was? Like, I was totally going in there like, oh, filler. While it's good for the series overall, I wasn't really too enthusiastic about it. And they pulled out some pretty awesome stuff. Granted, you can kind of classify it to a certain degree as maybe uh, some fan service in a certain way. And I'm not talking about over-sexualized stuff. I'm talking about Luffy versus Law because that just sounds like a, a dream One Piece chapter. And we got it in filler. And you can't, you know, as far as, like, analyzing it and trying to see a, a gauge of where each of them are at, Luffy and Law, as far as, like, okay, does this mean that Luffy's stronger than Law, Law's stronger than Luffy? Because, number one, it's filler. Number two, they're being controlled, so they're not being able to use their limits. They're not even fighting as if they're trying to defeat one another. But, nonetheless, it was still fucking awesome to see. And for filler, when you're doing stuff like that, that means that you actually care that, you know, you're trying your best. First of all, the animation was looking pretty awesome as well. Colors, the art style that they used for this particular filler, everything was actually looking pretty solid. And I was like, why am I enjoying this more so than some of the episodes that were canon uh, not that long ago? So, in, in a sense, they're actually doing a pretty decent job for filler because, again, I was actually thoroughly entertained. It was actually pretty interesting to see Law and Luffy going at it. Some funny stuff with, like, uh, the stuff with Chopper. But then it even went a bit emotional, which I wasn't expecting either, with the fighting Dugon. It, to a certain degree, it, it felt a little bit ridiculous. Uh, at the end of the day, it's like a Dugon crying. But One Piece knows how to do stuff that may seem ridiculous and then make it in a good way. For example, you never thought you'd cry over a boat. You know, Mary, just saying. So, <laughs> uh, th this episode definitely, it really surprised the fuck out of me. I was not expecting it to be anything other than maybe like an average 5 out of 10 type of episode. Like, yeah, let's just move forward. But it actually did some good things. Granted, again, filler. So, you can't really say too much as far as like, oh, yeah, progressive story or anything. But I also like that they delve into something interesting as well regarding those man-made fruits. The, uh... Zone fruits that he had, he got his hands on them. And you can totally see as a character, this man has been betrayed by humans. I totally get him. He's not that deep of a character. There's nothing really, uh, as far as I go, you gotta scratch the bottom of it. More than likely, he was betrayed, because we got a little glimpse of it. He was betrayed by humans, so he hates humans, and he just wants to surround himself by animals. So if you wanted to make a comparison to this guy, I guess in some weird way, it reminds me with his whole little uh, kingdom dream, uh, like, you know, getting his own kingdom. It's like, okay, so what if Griffith was some crazy guy with a monocle that wants animals around him and not humans? And, yeah, that, that's <laughs> really what I got out of it. And Griffith from Berserk, by the way, if you don't know about Berserk, you need to check it out. But other than that, actually, this episode surprised the fuck out of me, and it was a very good episode. Cool action, and it's not always about the action, but when you do get episodes like this, it really just gives you some good shit. So it's like, you got some cool action, Luffy and Law, blood everywhere, looking beautifully animated. And then at the same time, just that emotional shit where the guy is just whipping the fuck out of the dugong, and it's like, god damn. <laughs> you know, it's a dugong, but still, what the fuck? Like, let, let up a bit. So, not the most deepest character. Again, overall, looking at it, it's filler, but it was still a very good episode for what it was, as far as, like, you know, judging it as, own. as a whole. It doesn't really advance the overall story, but it does add a little bit of interesting things that I wouldn't mind like, if it connects to the overall story, again, having those man-made devil fruits is like, okay, it kind of crosses over in between. They're, they're really being selective regarding of what they say and what they do. Like, they having Luffy versus Law, which was ballsy of them. I didn't think that they would do that. But they're making it so that you can't really say, well, oh, this counteracts or, you know, this uh, messes up the story or anything like that because they're being controlled and it's filler at the end of the day. But overall, very good episode. I'm giving this one 8 out of 10, which... I really didn't think I would because at the end of the day, it's a filler of One Piece, but they did a fucking phenomenal job. Funny shit with Chopper in the outfit. Sad shit with the Dugong getting whipped, but as a whole, the character, he, he could be a little less cliche. It's totally obvious. He's just been betrayed by humans and only wants to be around animals because he feels as though he could control them with his petal petal fruit. But as a whole, again, very good and solid stuff, and I'm liking the fights. And if they're going to keep on doing some of these cool-ass uh, episodes that we would love to see, stuff like that, you know, Loopy versus Law, that's like a dream, um, then I I'm all for it until we get back to canon. Let me know what you think. Did you love the fight? Best moment of it was it the sad shit with the Dugong. Actually, Dugong with fucking hockey, ornament hockey. And I know a lot of people complain, like, wow, so now animals can use hockey, but... That kind of builds on to the world building of the One Piece world. Like, dude, there's there's creatures out there that are just strong. And it also kind of shows, like, even side characters like Fighting Dugong from Alabasta get a little bit of character development, whether they be filler or not. It's still cool, and it still adds to the complexities of the One Piece world. So, my only complaint is really that it's predictable with the whole Monocle guy, his backstory. But you don't need always, necessarily, especially, again, on a filler. So, that's all I really have for this one. I'm just thoroughly surprised and shocked and... Um, enjoy the episode overall. Again, 8 out of 10, very good stuff. Cool fights, a little bit of tragedy, comedy, everything you want. Uh, but that's all I have on Pinet World. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Thumbs up if you want some more Loopy vs. Law type of shit because for filler, you, you can't go wrong. I'm Pinet World, and as always, people, 
Have an awesome day.